At what point do we have to say no? At what point do we have to say no? The real problem is your husband. At what point do we have to say no? At what point do we have to stand up and say that the real problem is not us, but those who try to tear us down? That was the exact moment I had to grab Whoopi Goldberg's hands as we sat across the table from each other. I looked her in the eye and said, Sister, let me tell you about my husband because you're misinformed. What am I doing with my husband who is also my manager? It saddens me that so many of our black women are brainwashed to believe that their man can't do it. For eight years, my family has suffered, and my career has suffered because I wouldn't allow those entities to bully me. And because I didn't allow the bullying to happen, this is now what I sit in. The ongoing rift between Monique and Whoopi Goldberg has reached a deeply personal level. For years, Monique has been vocal about her strained relationships with major figures in Hollywood, particularly Oprah Winfrey and Tyler Perry. She's accused them of playing a role in her being blackballed from the industry after her Oscar win. When the controversy first broke, Whoopi Goldberg made it known that she was standing with Oprah, which only added fuel to Monique's frustration. Now things have taken a more personal turn. Whoopi recently criticized Monique's husband, Sidney Hicks, publicly, and Monique is not letting it slide. For Monique, this isn't just about a difference of opinion, it's about loyalty, respect, and defending her family. In Monique's eyes, Whoopi's words crossed a line, and she's ready to confront her former co-star over it. This latest conflict between Monique and Whoopi underscores the complex dynamics at play. Monique has never been one to hold back, and her response is expected to be as fierce as her previous battles. The situation reveals the long-standing tension in Hollywood, where personal relationships and public statements can quickly turn into powerful confrontations. As Monique steps up to defend her husband and herself, all eyes are on how Whoopi will respond to this direct challenge. But what really happened? Let me break it down for you. Monique has been pretty vocal lately, right? She's not holding back, especially when it comes to Tyler Perry and Whoopi Goldberg. Remember all that drama surrounding Precious a while back? Yeah, well, it seems like there are still some unresolved issues there. Monique recently sat down with Vulture and spilled the tea. Apparently, things have been pretty tense between her and Tyler Perry, who executive produced Precious, and then there's Whoopi Goldberg, who Monique has also clashed with recently. It sounds like these disagreements all stem from the fallout after Precious. Monique won an Oscar for her role in the film, but then things got complicated. She felt like she was treated unfairly by the industry afterward, and it seems like she's still grappling with those feelings. Let's break down the Tyler Perry part of this. Remember last June when Monique dropped that bombshell audio recording? It was a private conversation between her, her husband Sidney, and Tyler Perry himself. They were talking about what happened after Precious, career-wise. See, Monique got a reputation for being difficult back then. She refused to promote Precious at Cannes for free and wasn't really into the whole award season game. Now she still won the Oscar, but Monique believes that Stance got her blacklisted in Hollywood. Think about it, she's only had a handful of roles since Precious, and nothing is big. In the recording, you can actually hear Tyler Perry saying he thinks Monique was treated unfairly. He even promises to send her some of the money Precious made. But here's the kicker, Monique told Vulture that Perry hasn't coughed up the cash yet. So yeah, you can understand why there might be some tension there. Here's the thing, he's never done it, Monique said. We had given Tyler Perry a year to keep his word. Brother, you said you were going to come out and say something. Well, you never came out and said anything. And what was disheartening was people who were saying, how could you tape him? But they weren't saying, oh my God, did you hear what he said? He said she wasn't wrong. She continued saying, we didn't accept any money. Now let's talk about Monique and Whoopi. Things got heated between them back in February. They had this whole public disagreement on The View about, you guessed it, the precious promo tour. When Whoopi said to me, if you would have called me, I would have told you, you go to Cannes and you tell them to bring your family over there, and it could be a family vacation. 
and I would have told you, you go over there and you let those people see you. And I said, Whoopi, at what point do we have to say no? Whoopi basically said Monique dropped the ball. She said that when you make a movie, you've got to hustle and promote it. Whoopi even claimed she could have given Monique some advice if she had just asked. Ouch, right? That's got to sting a little. Because what you're saying to me is what's been said to me throughout my whole career. Let's keep our fingers crossed and hope for the next one. Let's hope for the next one. And if you get over here and they really like you, they might give you a chance. So, this is a conversation that my sister and I had off camera. But I'm sure she's not offended that we're having it publicly because she's that kind of woman she says what she means. So when we had that conversation before I even got to the view, I was very clear about my position, and she was very clear about her position, and neither one of us was wavering from our positions. So when she said on the view, I would have schooled you. When we got off camera, and Whoopi Goldberg and I went up into her dressing room, she did not have to do this, y'all. This is why when I say she's a beautiful sister, and people say we clashed, we didn't clash, we just agreed to disagree. So yeah, there's definitely some bad blood there. Monique clearly feels like she's been misunderstood this whole time, and she's not afraid to call out big names like Tyler Perry and Whoopi Goldberg. It's like she's saying, Hey, I'm not going to be silenced anymore. I deserve to be heard. Because when we got to her dressing room and we were sitting down, and this is what she said to me. Listen, I don't get involved in this intervention that ain't what I do, she said. But from the first time I saw you, I loved you. So I'm going to tell you right now you've got to take some of this responsibility. And the real problem is, Monique, you're being ill-advised. You're not thinking for yourself. Here's where things get really interesting. Monique revealed that Whoopi actually told her that if she had reached out during the whole Tyler Perry situation, Whoopi would have given her some advice. Whoopi's take go to the promotion, even if you're not getting paid for it. She suggested turning it into a vacation of sorts. But here's the thing, Monique wasn't having any of that. She was standing her ground. She asked Whoopi, when does one person start saying no? It's like she was saying, when do we stop letting people take advantage of us? So yeah, there's definitely some tension there. Monique felt like she had to stand up for herself and others who might find themselves in similar situations. And it seems like she didn't feel like she got the support she needed from people like Tyler Perry and Whoopi Goldberg. I had empathy for my sister Whoopi Goldberg, Monique told Vulture. Because what you're saying to me is you must work for free. I could have schooled you. When I look at this woman, you say is our icon and our legend she is. But how many things has Whoopi Goldberg executive produced? Whoopi Goldberg has always been the help, and I say that humbly. So what is it that you're going to school me on? I've been doing it for almost 30 years. One person wrote, Whoopi Goldberg told Monique the same to go 